Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads the result and force uh, determine the result and force and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics a textbook, 13th edition by RSC Hibela. So we have a simply supported beam and we have been asked to determine the result and force and to specify this location measured from A. So we have a trapezoidal uh, distributed load that we can um, uh, repartition it so that we have regular shapes that we can easily work with. So let's say I'm going to partition this into two. I'll have the triangular as well as the rectangular. Okay, so triangular, let's say there we are. Uh, let me write it in advance. This magnitude, which is just the area, so it is half times the intensity. Mind you, the intensity is from here to here. Okay, okay, let me write this properly. That's the intensity, so we need to determine this from there to there. Okay. And this one here is going to be equal to um, all right. This one here is going to be equal to is equal to uh, two hundred minus one fifty which is equal to okay space is limited let me move it out of here okay i say i will move it up to here can i move it all right so i'll say this is 200 minus 150 therefore this is equal to 50 all right, so that is 50, that difference there. So it is the one we are feeding there, where we are going to say half by 50, that's the intensity, the maximum intensity times the length, which is a six, all right. And we do the multiplication, so we have half by six, which is a three, and then three by 50, this gives us a one, 50 pounds mm -hmm. great right what else do we have uh, we have another one and uh, this rectangular rectangular let's say it is from here from there All right, as a rectangular load, so this one is just going to be equal to 150, which is the intensity, okay, times the length, which is a 6, and then this is just going to be equal to 300, right? Is it? 900, sorry, 900. All right. Um, let's say we are going to have our equivalent force somewhere there. Then we are just assuming we are going to change this position. If we've missed it, we are just putting it there. So let's call this as our FR. Okay. And then its location. This location, let's determine this location. I mean, this location we've already estimated it. I'm saying up to there. Let me bring this line down a little bit. There, like so. Maybe I bring it down. We say that is this location. 
okay so that is this location measured from a so let's call this as our d we call this as our d all right do we have everything mm -hmm. great so now we're going to say um fr the moment due to fr times d is going to be equal to summation of moments about point a and then summation of uh, the forces in the y going up in our reference we are saying is equal to this fr which is equal to minus 900 minus 150 and minus 500 and we have this is uh, 1500 of course minus right 1550 50 watt pounds mm -hmm, pounds which is also equal to 1550 pounds the force facing up down like so all right pounds and then we have the force like so all right so we are saying 900 and 150 and 500 1550 Okay, then we have summation of moments about point A and clockwise being our reference. Let's sum up all these moments about point A. So we have a negative moment due to 900. 900 by, we did indicate dimensions. Let's do so. Uh, let's do so. Okay. So we have the first one. First one from there to, I need to jump this. Uh, let me put it on top a little bit, just on top. I'll do this. And I'll take it there like so. Like so, like so. And here I'll just jump. I'll jump like this, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then here like so like this okay like that and then we'll have another one from there to there for the rectangular one like so this is enough and then the other ones 500 is known already so let's write down this let's add some information so this one we are saying is two thirds of it's triangular two thirds of six, which is just equal to three into six is two, two by the other one by two is four, four feet. For the rectangular one is just half, which is just half of six, which is three. So found one side is vital. If you want to find the other side, you can but we'll not use it in our calculation. So minus 600, I mean minus 900, this is giving us a negative moment, minus 900 uh, by, this is from the rectangular, by three, and then minus 150 by four, then minus 500 by, nine and then this gives us minus 900 by three minus 150 by four 150 by four minus 500 by nine so we have a minus seven thousand eight hundred pounds Fit. Okay. All right. 
can write it the other way, we'll leave it like this, we have run out of space. So now let's import uh, this equation and uh, let's now fit everything. Mind you, the right has to equal to the left. So the right, which is the summation of moments about point A, is giving us a negative moment, therefore we expect a negative also this side. FRA, we found FRA as 1515 times D. This is equal to minus 7800. Therefore, our D is just going to be equal to uh, 7800 divided by 1515. So we get a 5 point zero three. 2 to 5 will leave it like this fit okay uh, let me just check something all right so this is the value of our d is a 5.03 feet and uh, the resultant itself is a 1550 pounds Right, we can redraw this just as a separate beam, uh, something like that. Uh, we have A there, and we have B there, and then we have the resultant, which is, and the location where we chose is also not good enough, so we need to change. Let me just change this location where we chose this it's not a good enough as well as the dimensions let's change that to scene is five so let's change that it's 5.3 is inside so the location for the resultant we expect it to be somewhere here right mm-hmm Infect it to be there, somewhere there. Okay. Uh, this is where our FR is. And this is equal to, we said, 15.15 pounds. And the location is... The location from A is equal to, there we go, something like that. Uh, okay. The location is D equal to uh, 5.03 feet. And we said, let's draw another one. Let's draw another one. So that we just indicate the force alone. So there we go. Of course, the same FR, the same FR. Um, the same FR, which is equal to 1550 pounds. And then this point here is A, this point here is B. There we go. And the location we are saying is um, D equal to 5.03 feet. Okay. And um, this overall dimensions from there to there, and then also up to somewhere there. All right. What do we have? So we are saying here it is six feet, and then here there are two partitions here, right? This is partition somewhere there. All right, here it is three feet, 
and here it is three feet also so this is about it uh, we are done with this particular problem uh, I've not indicated the supports on this you can indicate if you want to I'm just interested in indicating the the result and force the problem was helpful and the video was helpful give me a thumbs up like my video and continue subscribing bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast